What's up everybody? It's George here. We're back with another video. Now today's video is in response to a hardware failure that I had when I was flying at the park on Sunday. I was flying and all of a sudden the helicopter took a real hard pitch and snapped back, which I knew wasn't normal. Uh, brought it back in and did it two more times. I was able to get it safely to the ground, no damage or anything, but now I have to go through the diagnostics and repair uh, process to, to take care of this. Uh, the first thing I want to do is reproduce the problem, so let's go ahead and head downstairs and take a look. Hey, what's up everybody? Okay, we have the T-Rex 450 Sport on the bench and we're about to try to reproduce the problem that I'm having. Uh, remember the problem that I'm having is, is when I got it about half stick spinning up, the aileron servo just w w was jumping. Uh, without any input. So I've taken the blades and the canopy off so we can get a better look and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so we can take a better look at that servo and I'll spin it up and we'll see what it does. Now, if I put it into throttle hold, and now I can move my sticks around, you can see that everything seems to move okay, no problem with the uh, throttle, aileron, elevator channels, everything is working fine, but it happens when I spin it up. So, um, let's go ahead and get right down to the troubleshooting of this. Okay, there's several different ways that we can go about analyzing and diagnosing this problem. We know that the root problem is is that this servo is chattering and we need to find out why. It could be the servo, could be the receiver, um, but we need to determine which one it is. One way of going about it is I could have reversed the receiver wires that come from the aileron and auxiliary one servos and then spin it back up if the problem stayed on the servo, then I would know it's the servo. If the problem followed the wire, then I would know that it's the receiver. I'm going to choose a different approach because I have spare parts. Uh, these are high-tech HS65MGs, and I do have a spare. I also have a spare uh, receiver, so I can simply re try replacing them. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the problem, and that's with this servo. It's basically going to be two screws holding the servo in, one screw for the servo horn, unplug it, plug a new one in, and we'll give it a try. So let me go ahead and change that out, and we'll see what happens. Okay, uh, that was pretty painless. Uh, basically, like I said, two screws that hold the servo in, one screw for the servo horn, unplug it. I have the new servo in and we're ready to take a look. I'll go ahead and zoom in so we can get a closer look at the servo as I start spooling it up and we can watch what it's doing. About a quarter throttle right there. Getting close to half throttle. That's pretty much half throttle, and that's where we were having a problem before. And as we can see, it's rock solid. So it does appear that the servo was the issue. Replacing the servo seems to have fixed it. So now I'll pop the blades on it and I'll take it out in the driveway and hover it out and make sure everything's okay. But um, 
I would definitely say problem solved. Let's go upstairs and we'll wrap this up. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is spin it up. I'm not going to take off, but I'm just going to get it up to uh, about mid stick and we'll see how it does. Uh, if it's stable, then I'll go ahead and take off. I would say we have a successful transplant. Uh, let's go in and wrap this up. So there you have it, um, the diagnostics process. You know, I gotta tell you, I've never seen a servo fail like this before. I really didn't know for sure what it was, but I did use a systematic approach to uh, get it repaired. I'm not saying that it was the right way. I'm sure there's other ways of doing it, but I do know that it worked for me. Unfortunately, in this case, uh, the only uh, damages are replacement servo. So I'm going to go ahead and take her out to the park, take a couple of nice, easy flights, make sure that everything's okay, but I think that we're good to go. So thanks for watching, everybody, and as always, happy flying, friends.